remembering a fallen deputy, fallen deputy Sonny Smith. 4029's Jonathan Rosal is at the funeral home where deputies are watching him. He's live in Clarksville. A vigil for that fallen deputy was started about an hour ago. I mean, take a look. That huge wreath decorated with blue lights, the light posts with blue lights were done to remember him. We spoke with one man who says it's just not those close to the deputy who are mourning his death, it's the entire community. Our cameras were rolling as several Johnson County Sheriff Department units escorted the remains of fallen Johnson County Deputy, 42-year-old Sonny Smith, back to the funeral home. Just a few moments before, lights outside the funeral home were made blue in his honor. Co-workers and family tell me they are too hurt to talk on camera, but people the deputy helped watch over did talk. I can only wish my very best for his family. He says he wasn't close friends with the fallen deputy, but spoke to each other whenever they met. The thing that impressed me about him, and I recognized his picture as soon as I saw it, um, anytime you saw him, he had that big smile on his face. He was just a, just a super good person. And uh, for this to happen to him is just, um, it's a tragedy under any circumstance, but to somebody that is so outgoing, so nice, you just don't expect that. The department says Deputy Smith was shot and killed by this man while responding to a burglary call at a home in Johnson County early yesterday morning. This man says he's a former correctional officer and knows what happened to Deputy Smith is an unfortunate part of wearing the badge. When something like this goes on, it's just, it just really hits your heart. But uh, we'll, we'll get through. The Johnson County Sheriff's Department says they plan to speak about their fallen comrade sometime next week. Live in Clarksville, Jonathan Roselle, 4029 News.